You're listening to the BBM Global Network with 25 years in broadcast audio and video production. Our passionate team creates content and marketing for the world of Internet talk radio. If you've got a passion, come join us at BBMGlobalNetwork.com. The BBM Global Network. Your voice is now heard. Are you looking to heal yourself? Would you like to know and expand your gifts? Not sure what your purpose is on this planet? Carolee and Julia are here with the answers. A Call to Heal provides information and energy to make great change in your life. So let's welcome those two powerful energy movers, Julia and Carolee. Hello, and welcome to A Call to Heal. I'm your host, Carolee Schloes. And hello, everybody. I'm your host, Julia Stubbe, and you are tuned into the BBM Global Network, iHeart, and TuneIn Radio. And Julia and I want to say every week, we say this every week, that we're so grateful for you, all of our listeners and our caller-ins that are so brave to come and lead the healings. And now we're even more grateful for our meditation guest speakers. And so we, we just want you all to know that our hearts are so full and open and thank you. And so Julia and I would just like to know if you want to get in touch with us that you can always go to our website, Julia at JuliaStuby.com and me, Carolee at CarolleeSchloss.com. And if you would like us to facilitate a healing with you, please give us a call at 866-451-1451. And I want to give a special shout out to the MoCo Active and Social Meetup Group. That's led by JB. And this activity is hosted by David and Marilyn. And I just want to thank them for, for listening to a call to heal this evening. And this week, we want to welcome our guest, Dr. Edith Baer, known to her friends as Delmi. She's known to Delmi to me. She's been a great friend of mine. And she really works with stress-free living with with her people. So I want to welcome you, Delmi. Hi. So are you ready to lead this evening's guided imagery? I am. If if you guys are ready, because I love doing this. Typically, when I do these classes, I do 15 or 20 minutes. But I am going to do my little three-minute thing. And if you don't mind, I have some music that I'm going to play while I speak. I don't know how well it's going to go. Can you hear that? Yes, yeah, a little loud. All right, so I'll turn it down. I think you're going the wrong way. I'm going the right uh, way. I'm okay. turning it down. Okay, all right. So those of you who are in a safe place, feel free to close your eyes. And those of you who are driving, let's, keep, let's be alert and listen to this on the replay. Okay, Delmi, it's all yours. Okay. So... Get in a comfortable space and don't worry about whether or not sensations come up or you have to cough or scratch your knee. Um, And I just want you to listen to my voice. I would like you to take a deep breath in to the count of five and just let it out. And do that again. Take a deep breath in to the count of five and then just let that out. I want you to feel a sense of relaxation fall into your scalp and all the way down your body to your toes, extending into the base of the earth. Now, imagine that you're walking on the beach. Feel the breeze through your clothes, the salt air. Maybe you can feel the waves lapping up over your feet and the sand between your toes and the seagulls in the air. And you're just enjoying a little walk on the beach. It feels so relaxing. You're just enjoying that beautiful space. There's nothing you need to do. There's no place you need to go. Everything is just absolutely beautiful. 
And you take a moment and you stop and you look out over the ocean and it's so gorgeous and expansive. You're in awe of this beautiful ocean and out in the distance you see this large white flower. It seems extraordinarily large, but as it gets closer to the beach, the waves bringing it in and bringing it in, you see that this white lotus flower is bigger than you. You can actually step onto that lotus flower, and you do. You step onto the lotus flower, and the petals are like blankets, and you wrap yourself in the petals of this flower like a comforting blanket. And in that moment, you sense how incredibly loving and kind and supportive all that is, all of the divine intelligence, this entire universe is to you, the unique, beautiful, amazing, magnificent you. And you are overwhelmed by a sense of peace and joy, and you feel completely safe and loved and comforted and in that moment you feel a white light developing in the center of your body where your heart lives and that white light grows and just fills your entire body and then that white light grows even further and fills your entire auric body and then grows even further and fills the area and then moves into the city that you live in and the state and it just grows easily you're not effort there's no effort you just continue to move out and this beautiful white light that is you continues to expand to encompass the continent and now the earth and and now the solar system and now the entire galaxy and even further easily to encompass the universe and then it it engulfs the universe and you in your state of amazing perfection sits in this place of magnificence and sends love to wherever you want to send it and peace powerfully to wherever you want to send it and abundance and healing and joy and laughter and beauty to wherever, to whomever, to whatever space, to whatever place, and you send it to yourself. You send all of that peace and joy and love and healing and laughter and fun to you. And then easily you find yourself back in your body with a greater awareness of who you truly are knowing there is nothing you can't be, do, or have. And you find yourself unwrapping the petals of that blanket and moving out into the beach, and the gorgeous sandy beach, looking at the ocean and the sky and the birds and the little crabs and the little shells and seeing them through the eyes of your magnificence, you are even in more awe of this incredible universe and you see yourself in the same way and you give yourself thanks for the joy and the peace and the love and the abundance that you yourself have brought into life to the people around you and to your own living body and so take another deep breath and feel how amazing you are And then take another deep breath and enjoy absolute peace. And take another deep breath and start to become aware of your surroundings and entertain the idea that joy and fun and laughter will now be more a part of your life. And that's all I got. Blessings. (laughs) Blessings. <laughs> Tell me, thank you for that powerful connection and that powerful upliftment 
The body's just floating. Thank you so much. Hey, I know it works for me, too. That's there. why I do it. <laughs> yeah. So can you tell our guests a little bit about yourself? Let them know who you are. All right. Well, I, um, and a, I'm a physician, actually a general surgeon, and the owner and medical director of a med spa. Um, I actually got disillusioned with allopathic medicine in medical school, and then I found working with my hands in surgery to be at least a place where I could fix things. Uh, but even then, um, you know, you get caught up in in that world, you kind of get brainwashed. And I came to a place once I was out in practice where I was just so unhappy with every part of my life. And I really questioned everything. And I came to an appreciation of um, how this world actually works. And it took me about six months of studying, like every spiritual, checking out every alternative medicine thing, learning how to meditate, and playing around with all different meditation forms to come out the other end six months later in a totally different life, and yet nothing was actually changed. But I was stress-free, and time expanded, and my health was perfect, and I looked better, and I felt better, and every relationship, it just, the whole world changed in response to me changing who I was and that blew me away because I wasn't expecting that so I've been doing that ever since and expanding my horizons continuously because there's never an ending to how far you can go so tell me I just you know I love you you do know that right (laughs) yes I love you you a lot (laughs) so what is the single most impactful healing modality in your opinion that you've discovered well uh, honestly I I have tried everything and and it all has merit Um, but I believe that meditation is probably the single because not only will meditation change your brain and your body and cause chemicals of healing and and your immune system is enhanced but it will also connect you to your higher self which will then who can then lead your higher self and you together will then be led to whatever modality is right for you so for example you'll be in meditation you might be having some problem and you'll get out of your meditation and it'll say oh i should check on facebook and you'll see julia Julia's thing and you'll say oh, that that actually draws me and you'll listen and then you know Julia might be able to impact your life I mean I have it's not like I never use alternative medicine I've used all different forms um, it's just that it's 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 all a guidance thing and so I love meditation I think meditation is key in every aspect of healing so it's like your way of really connecting with your source, with your higher self, to be able to get that information to empower yourself to really take those breadcrumbs or those those gifts that show up in your path to be able to choose them. Correct, because a, a lot of times you'll be so second guessing and intellectualizing that you won't honor your your body's in you know or your higher self or divine to telling you go in this direction even if it's just get an ice cream they say no no i can't have an ice cream that's not good for me anyway i just love meditation i i could talk for hours and hours about all the things that i've studied and and i do but um i would highly encourage people so if our listeners wanted to get a hold of you um what what's the best place to get in touch with you or to take any of your courses or read any of your books what's the best way to contact you my um, website, delmimd.com, so it's Delmi, my nickname, D-E-L-M-I-M-D.com, um, has most of my contact information in general. Um, but you can also Google me, Edith Delmar Bear is my full name, and you'll see my office and my med spa. And there's a lot of ways to contact me, and I would I would love to hear from, from anybody. And I would encourage people to use some free apps called Insight Timer or Calm, and binaural beat meditation. I just have to throw that in because that is phenomenal. If you don't know how to, it'll teach you. And on your free app, and I don't, I don't make any money off of these people. So I just think it's awesome that they have this 
education that you can put on your phone and take where you, wherever you want to go. Excellent. Tell me, can you repeat that website again with your name, Edith? Can you spell it for our listener, Edith, and your last name? Um, my full name is Edith Delmar, D-E-L-M-A-R, bear like the paint, B-E-H-R. And if you just Google me, all kinds of things show up. But my website for is D-E-L-M-I-M-D dot com. Okay, take it away. Ms. All right. Girls. So tell me, I, I am so grateful and we are so grateful. So thank you for joining us this evening. And we're going to take a short commercial break. And coming up after the break, we'll start taking some callers. And I'm your host, Julia, with my co-host, Cara Lee, and we are here at A Call to Heal on the BBM Global Network, iHeart, and TuneIn Radio. And we are here to facilitate a healing for you. So please call in at 866-451-1451 and stay tuned. We'll be right back. America is out of control. Today's capitalism and the approach to money is in fact the symptom of a more widespread pattern of excessive behavior. In his book, The Culture of Excess, How America Lost Self-Control and Why We Need to Redefine Success, clinical psychologist Dr. Jay Slosar portrays an America where excess fuels the drive to succeed. Dr. Slosar examines the cultural factors that lead to excess ranging from obesity to fraud to pervasive budget deficits. His book examines the powerful economic and social factors and their impact on our psychological well-being. Dr. Slosar explores the psychological impact of increasing narcissism, perfectionism, self-destruction, and our identity confusion. He offers recommendations for helping Generation Me become Generation We. Those who resist Slosar's message will want to avoid his discussion of regulation and his recent message that at this point, democracy must be more important than today's capitalism. Get his book now online or by visiting thecultureofexcess.com. Renaissance woman, trailblazer, maverick. Those are just some of the words to describe to Chandra Poulard, owner and CEO of House of Virgo Entertainment, LLC, a woman minority veteran owned entertainment company based in Washington, D.C. Ms. Poulard served 10 years honorably in the United States Navy and departed from active duty to pursue her dreams of becoming an entertainment mogul. House of Virgo Entertainment offers script writing, producing, directing, DJ services, editing, and more. They cater to businesses, corporations, college students, working professionals, aspiring artists and nonprofit organizations, and employ veterans of the armed forces. Tashandra Poulard is pioneering the way we view media and taking her brand global. Visit her at www.houseofvirgoentertainment.com or call 281-515-3740 and like her on Facebook at House of Virgo Entertainment, LLC. Dr. Rob Moyer is the director of the Ocean River Institute, and he is passionate about saving the ocean by helping dolphins suffering from nitrogen pollution. Nitrogen is a dangerous pollutant, affecting our oceans, altering ocean ecosystems, and contributing to global warming. The Ocean River Institute provides opportunities to make a difference and encourages people to go the distance for savvy stewardship of a greater and bluer planet Earth. Partnered with organizations from Massachusetts to Florida, Alaska to the Caribbean, the Ocean River Institute's mission is to foster involvement in conservation and environmental monitoring by facilitating grassroots efforts at local and regional levels. Hello, I'm Rob Moyer of the Ocean River Institute. Please visit our website at oceanriver.org. Sign up for free e-alerts. You may call us at 617-661-6647. Our email address is info at Ocean River. Become informed and then act with us. Thank you. And welcome back, everybody. You are listening to A Call to Heal with Julie and Carol Lee on the BBM Global Network, iHeart and TuneIn Radio. And before the break, we had a powerful meditation by Delmi, and we are really grateful for that. And we're here now with our first caller, and I believe we have Amy on the line from Maryland. Are you here, Amy? I am. Hi, Amy. Could you let Julie and I know how you would like us to aid you tonight and be here for all our listeners? So um, I'm just interested. I, um, I have multiple myeloma cancer. And just starting to um, check out meditation and, you know, mental healing and getting positive vibes and doing my energy, um, you know, trying to get positive energy as well as uh, traditional medication. So um, 
I heard about your radio show and thought I would call in and find find out what you do and you know, always taking positive sights. Perfect. Um, tell me the cancer again you have. Multiple myeloma. It's a bone cancer, blood cancer. It's in the plasma cells. Okay. All righty. Okay. So the biggest thing that we're going to, when I say we, it's your higher self speaking, okay? It's aspects of you speaking through us, okay? But so the higher okay. selves are saying through you, to lighten up, okay? And, and they mean that in a loving way, and they want you <laughs> to be joyful. They want you to laugh. And so as your vibration rises, you connect with this reality as a collective consciousness around it, um, source, God, goddess, everything has a consciousness around it. It's almost like a computer, and we're biological computer beings. And as you raise your energy, raise your vibration in different aspects, you get to connect with new, more awareness and more energies. And so we are higher self saying you need to laugh. And so laughter will shift your body, will shift your energies, and will get you to a vibration that's necessary for you to heal. Do you understand this? I do. Okay, so tell me about the laughter in your life. Um, or a lot or a little? I have, um, I'm working on getting more, going out with friends and spending time, um, you know, reading reading happier books, listening to happier music, um, surrounding myself with the people that make me smile um, to get out of the, the stress that I'm currently in. Okay, so, Amy, one of the things that I'm seeing is, so do you, do you take on the responsibility? You take responsibility seriously? Real serious? I do. Okay, so, so it's like, so your response, so the message that I'm getting is that you're responsible for yourself, you're not responsible yeah. for everybody else, especially at this time of healing. Are you ready to let that responsibility for everybody else go? I'm working on that. Um, okay. Well, we, we can. Well, what Carolee and I can do is that. we can assist assist you in doing that if you're if you give permission. I give permission. Okay, so we're just connecting through your higher self. And we're going to release any vows and contracts as hexes, curses, anything of similar origin that's keeping that energy of being responsible for everybody else. And we're just letting that go. Go ahead, Carly. She's wearing a giant, stunning black, purple cloak. Huge. Yeah, Um, Yeah, I see it. But it's, it's so much about power and having to take care of everyone that it's diminishing you in this lifetime in reality. So would you like to let this go? I would. Okay, so we're going to ask okay. to release all vows, contracts, commitments, and everything. And while we're removing that cape, go ahead, Julia. Well, we want to bring in education because she's saying, I really like this. It's really pretty. I don't want to let it go because it makes me powerful. It makes everybody look at me. It makes everybody, you know, it makes me, it makes me important. So you being responsible, there's that belief system that the only way you're important is if you take care of everybody else. Does that make sense to you? It does. Okay. So you're ready to just let that belief go? I am. Okay. Okay. All right, so I, I get a sadness and a heaviness in the heart when you do that because it's like you, you're not sure who you are without that. Okay, so let's yeah. let's bring. Does that make sense to you? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So let's let's just bring in joy and fill that heart with joy, and bring in education to know that by taking care of yourself, you have more to give to others. Without being responsible for them. It does, and it's an old program that you've been carrying, and so you brought it to the attention of us now and that you've called in so that it can be released, which it is releasing now, so that you can be now in the new way, and so you don't need a cloak. You can just be this vibrant, open, energetic being that is just happy and is you, and as you're being you, you shift people around you and you don't have to have all that responsibility, okay? Okay. Okay, and so like we're going to let the cloak go. And here's the gift of the cloak. It goes in your Akashic Records, so it's never gone because this is a stunning cloak. But you do need to shift it out of this 
energy of your body right now in this lifetime. So we're shifting it out, moving it. Okay. And there's a beautiful diamond light energy coming in that's surrounding you, and it's actually forming a diamond around you to create a new energy with you. It is a higher, lighter vibration. It is you creating this for you. And it's replacing where the cloak was so that you don't feel bare. And it's an energy that breathes and moves, allowing you to keep shifting, keep advancing, keep moving through this energetic lifetime. And we give thanks and gratitude to the cloak as it is sent to the realms of your Akashic record. And all has been released, all the vibrations, all the vows and contracts, everything is releasing, you are letting it go. So the main thing to do is to be aware now. So when you find yourself be being aware that you are tending to overstep your responsibility and say, that's my old story. I'm no longer responsible for that other person. I'm only responsible for me and just send them love. So is that, okay. so if you can keep your awareness, it's like, so you, you, you're writing yourself a new story now. Okay. All right. Okay. And that's, and that's an awesome, it can be a really, it's, you know, you're empowering yourself to do that. So that's really awesome. I'm really excited for you. So the one thing I see is I see I I call them combat boots is like sometimes you feel like life's a struggle. Is that true? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so you ready to let go of those combat boots? So we're oh, just yeah. going to there's yeah, so <laughs> you got yeah, one's too <laughs> tight, one's, one's a little struggle. big causing <laughs> blisters, so we're just going to just kick those suckers off. You're like, "I'm ready to let those go." So it's like I want you to take those bare feet and go back to that beach to where Delmi took us in the first, you know, part of the show and just put and put your bare feet into the sand and into the ocean and just feel the soothing healing energies of that salt water in the sand and let that flow up through your whole body coming up through your calves up through your knees, your thighs, through your torso, out through your arms, up through your skull and your brain, and expanding through all your bodies. How's that feeling? Great. That feels great. Excellent. And so a message that I'm getting for you, Amy, is to tell you that everyone on the planet is a powerful being, that they are spirit in a physical body, just as you are. And so that energy that was your energy that you were carrying about taking care of everyone, now you will see them all as spiritual beings that know what to do. And so many of us, we want to give advice. We want to, you know, help people. It is a way that we are, but what it actually does is drain energy out of us because we're believing that they're not okay and we're giving a piece of ourselves to them. So the message from your higher self is to see all beings as the avatar that they are. Okay. 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 And I know you get that. Yeah, so let's just do a balancing of our our chakras. So we're just going to balance from the root up, the sacral, solar plex, the heart, the throat, the third eye and the crown, and then balancing all your bodies, the physical, the emotional, the mental, and your spiritual body, fully balancing them. And what we're going to do here is we're going to do what I call a reboot. Um, it's like, so we empty the trash, like your recycle bin on a computer, and we run your defrag, clearing any residual of the programs, and then rebooting 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, and recalibrating your DNA. How's that feeling for you, Amy? little dizzy, but okay. Okay, just ground, let's ground you. Connect into the earth. Feel yourself connected to the core of the earth, allowing your roots to connect. Does that feel better? Feel more balanced? Yes. Okay, awesome. Yeah. All right. Well, that was that was wonderful. Didn't, uh, thank you so much for calling in. I really, really appreciate it. But thank you thanks so, so much. Yeah, so we're, we have to go to, for, to another short break. And then coming up after the break, we'll be taking our next caller. I'm your host, Julia, with my co-host, Cara Lee. And we are here to call to heal on the BBM Global Network, iHeart, TuneIn Radio. And so stay tuned. We'll be right back. 
The earliest human societies worshipped a female goddess. Little is known about this time because we did not always have a written recorded history. It was around 3100 BC when the Sumerians invented the first written language and everything that preceded this time is prehistory. The prehistorical record includes all of women's unwritten history from 30,000 B.C. to the time that men began achieving political power around 3,000 B.C. Male feminist artist Kimberly Berg maintains a strong position in educating and inspiring both men and women through his devotional art to the goddess in all women. Studying their history is paramount to understanding who women were and who they would become later living in a patriarchal society. To learn more about this important time in our history, go to www.isisrising.net. Do you ever wonder why certain things are happening in your life? How to start a business or a new direction? Need answers? Astrologer Bonnie Perbula can help you reveal your true self and gain strength and focus so you can achieve greater joy and success. Working with a natal birth date, time, and location, Bonnie brings out qualities to aid you in getting the best from your life. She can help you unlock dormant traits to bring you greater awareness. Bonnie also conducts public speaking engagements to educate aspiring astrologers on their journey to the stars. A gifted artist, Bonnie bridges her talents and recently launched a line of Astro Bears, uniquely created in colors of individuals' astrology charts. She also makes one-of-a-kind necklaces of crystal beads and woven thread. To learn more about the world of Bonnie Prabula, go to BonnieGPrabula.com. And for astrology consulting, visit AstrologyConsultants.com or call or email her at 808-526-1536 or BonnieGP at AOL.com. And welcome back, everyone. You are listening to A Call to Heal with Julie and Carol Lee on the BBM Global Network, iHeart and TuneIn Radio. Before the break, we had Amy on, and she had a powerful movement of energy, and we're really grateful for her for calling in. And I believe that now we have Kathy from Collegeville on the line. Are you there, Kathy? Yes, I'm here. Hi, Kathy. How are you tonight? I'm okay, thank you. How are you? We're good, and we're grateful that you're here. And could you tell Julia and I how we could help you tonight? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm having issues with my hips and my one knee, and also um, I have the post-traumatic stress syndrome. I lost my son and my fiancé last year, so any help would be greatly appreciated. Okay, so what I see through your aura is like, I just would, I would call it a grief cloud. So um, what, what I'm being guided to do is just bring in a beautiful sunlit golden um, rays of light to go through all your fields to just release that, that grief, that grief cloud. Are you ready to do that, Kathy? Yes. So it's not so heavy. Just allow those streams of light to go through all your fields, through your, through your physical body, your emotional body, your mental body, and all your spiritual bodies. And let that light expand out, allowing it to become encompassing your whole self, just dissolving that gray Carly, I'm going to the back of her um, root, and I'm seeing like um, so this tar and and this. They're like these gears from a ca- old car in there. So, do you want to look at that and see what you see with me? Okay, well, you do that. I'm all, her her emotional body's four feet to the left of her physical body. Um, okay. And so that makes yeah. it really, really hard to navigate this reality. So. Kathy, are you ready to bring that into alignment? Yes. Okay, so we're going to bring that emotional body over and let it align. We're going to ask that the mental body align with it. And we're going to ask for, there's a giant rip in your emotional body from your heart to your root. We're going to ask that that begin to, to, to mend, to close. Because what that does is it just keeps bleeding and you're just in pain and, and life is just hard and you're very tired. Are you ready to yes. let this begin to change? Yes. 
Okay, and so where Julia said that rude is super important because that's your choice to be here. And when things like what you just described, which is so tremendously painful, it takes us out of here and it makes us not want to be here. And so even though there's a part of you that wants to stay because, you know, you may have other people that you love here and you want to stay, there's a giant piece of you that doesn't want to stay. So are you ready to bring this into alignment yes. and make the choice of staying? Yes. Okay. And so go ahead, Joy. I'm seeing it too. It's, it's very rusty and ripped and there's holes in a root. Yeah. So yeah. we're ready to bring bring this up and, and heal this and align right. it. So, so, yeah, so let's bring in, and I let's bring in your healing teams, you, Kathy. Kathy. You're doing everything. It's your higher self that's just bringing this to the consciousness. And so we're going to bring these gears into a newness. They're going to be brand new gears. All that rust is disintegrating. All the holes are disintegrating. And we're bringing that root into the alignment of I choose to be here. I choose to be here. So can you say that, Kathy? Repeat that. Say, I choose to be here. Mm -hmm. I choose to be here. And you want to say that every day, okay? You want to, all right, because it's important because you're, there's that subconscious that doesn't want to be here. So you've got to start reiterating that so that you, your consciousness believes it. Okay? Okay, I will. Yep. All right. So for our listeners, 95% of our consciousness rules us and it's subconscious. And that 5% that says, I want to live here, yeah. But that 95 underneath us has a whole other ball game. And so in order to make life easier, that, that intention every day, I say that intention every day um, because I have had cancer and cancer says, I don't want to be here. And I was like, wow, I didn't even know that. I thought I wanted to be here. No, unconsciously don't want to be here. So every day I look in the mirror and look in my eyeballs and, and look right directly in my eyeballs and say, I choose to be here. And then here's the other thing. I don't just choose to be here. I choose to be here in bliss. If I'm going to be here, it better be fun. It better be amazing after all that we've gone through and all that we feel and all that we, I'm going to say, suffered through. And so that's super important because your thoughts and what you say create your reality, Kathy, okay? And so yes. you've gotten, I'm going to say, slammed, okay? And the only way to get out of it is to become the warrior. And so the warrior goddess, Athena, um, Artemis, uh, Artemis is her really powerful one. It's a conscious energy of, well, I'm going to take back who I am and I'm going to be okay in what's happening here because whatever did happen happened for a myriad of reasons. And even though it's horrible and hard, it's doing something for me. And so I'm going to begin to understand that and learn from that. Can you do that? Yes, I will. Yeah, and all you have to do is accept it and say that. You don't even have to do anything. All you have to do is think it. And as you think it, your world changes. And so there's a blue light around your body, and I'm seeing all these, like, blue eyes. And I'm like, what is this? And it's actually off-planet energy, and it's a big connection to another world and reality that you that you have a big connection to. And so I'm just going to ask that to balance more in you and to come into your awareness and let you understand more about that if you so choose. Okay. Yes, I want to. And then, Julia, you're back at that root with you. Yeah, I want to go back to the root because it's like, so we want to bring in um, a beautiful, it's a ruby um, apple red bomb, B-A-L-M, not boom, but bomb. And but that's just going to come in and soothe that root, cl- clearing, um, helping to clear any residual and just restoring that root back to its beautiful original purpose. And as that happens, that's also going to align your hips and your lower back on the physical plane as well. Okay. Can you feel that? Can you feel that? energy in your root yes yeah so what we're going to do now with that beautiful bomb is we're going to let that allow that to flow up through all your chakras restoring them with this beautiful bomb the sacral 
your solar plexus, fully connecting them to your heart, your throat, your third eye, and your crown, and allowing that to just run through all your chakras, out through all your meridians, and through all your systems. How's that feeling now? It, it does feel better. My hip actually isn't hurting at the moment. Mm. So our hips are our foundation on being here. Okay. So it's just going to get stronger now because you're choosing consciously to be here. Okay. And the little, um, this one little bluebird came in and I'm like, hi, it's a little bluebird. And then suddenly thousands of them came in and then I'm like, what's the bluebird? And then I start laughing because it's the bluebird of happiness. Okay. So you're flooded with the bluebird of happiness all of a sudden. Yeah. Yeah. So let that in. Let that joy in. It's just going to flood through all your body. You know, as all your bodies are aligning, all your chakras are opening, and now all your energy. So we're going to ask that all chakras, meridians, organs, glands, body systems, and all systems within all of your body, in this reality in particular, are open, cleared, allied, integrated, balanced, and stabilized, letting that energy flow again, letting it flow freely, letting it move through your body that are all aligned again. They're healed and sealed. And all the chakras are strong. So let's look at that heart chakra, Julia. Yeah, I was waiting for that. (laughs) That's where I was going. (laughs) I know. So the heart chakra, it looks like a rose, if you really could see it. And so the petals of the rose are like ripped and torn. So we're going to ask that the rose come back Let's shed those petals. Let them go. They were real. Let's let them go. Let that pain go. Let it integrate. You felt it long enough. Now we're going to let these new petals come. Let the chakra be okay. Let it begin to open and bloom within you. It is your love. It is your love here now. Your love for self and compassion for self as well. You are huge, and you are super strong to have picked what you picked in this lifetime, and you're healing, and it is a lot, it is a lot to be where you are. You're forging the way for so many, and you are strong. And I know there's a piece to you saying that you're not strong, but you really don't understand how strong you are. You're super strong. I do feel that way. Well, good. We're grateful for you. Very grateful for you. The world is grateful for you. Thank you. I just see, I just see all these flowers around you, like all different kinds. It's, it's very beautiful. Um, I just think that... I think I'm not sure what the message is there other than it's stunning. It cannot be because everything's so beautiful about it. There can't be anything less than that. And you have so much to give is what I'm getting from it because it's not just one flower. It's this whole bouquet of flowers. Right. And by so choosing, by you. choosing, yeah, by choosing to, 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 to be here, all this is opening up for you. All this, all this, possibilities and all the gifts of all the flowers and the energy of the flowers there's just so much to you that is available and the more you choose life the more you'll be able to really touch other people's lives through your experience that's the message I got okay Okay. Yeah, and it's kind of like, you know how they say, don't put all your eggs in one basket. It's like, well, you got this myriad of flowers, so you have so much to offer and give to others. And so just open to how you're going to share it. And we are so grateful for you for calling in today, Kathy. Thank you. Thank you. So now we're going to take another short break, 
And then coming up after the break, we'll be taking our final caller. I'm your host, Julia, with my co-host, Cara Lee, and we are here at A Call to Heal on the BBM Global Network, iHeart, and TuneIn Radio. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Are you looking for employment and live in Los Angeles, Orange, Riverside, and San Bernardino counties? Jobs Annex is the place for you. Are you an employer looking to fill a position or quite a few positions in Los Angeles, Orange, Riverside, and San Bernardino counties? Jobs Annex is for you. Employers, JobsAnnex.com is your resource for career-minded people. JobsAnnex.com is the convenient place for job seekers and employers to hook up and move forward. Jobs Annex has been serving Los Angeles, Orange, Riverside, and San Bernardino counties for over 14 years. Jobs Annex is a former employment search firm. We've evaluated many thousands of resumes and we understand what employers want and what job applicants need to be successful in their interviews. At Jobs Annex, we provide you with the tools to tell your story for free. Our resources at JobsAnnex.com will help each applicant construct an award-winning resume, an eye-catching cover letter, and key interview questions to ask in various types of interviews. Best of all, it's free. JobsAnnex.com. That's J-O-B-S-A-N-N-E-X.com. Abuse happens every moment of every day. According to national statistics in the United States, every two minutes, someone is sexually assaulted. And every 10 minutes, a report of child abuse is made. Those currently struggling with abuse, or if you know someone who has been the victim of abuse, you are not alone. Whether physical, mental, emotional, or sexual, know there is hope. There is help. There is healing. Author Tammy Hall has written a book from her own account of abuse called Journey of Courage that can guide you through your own personal journey of healing. Stop struggling through life. It's your story. It's your healing. And it can begin with the first turn of the page. Visit www.journeyofcourage.com to begin your path to becoming the person you were ultimately created to be. Healed. Hopeful. Happy. And welcome back, everybody. You're listening to A Call to Heal with Julie and Carol Lee on the BBM Global Network, iHeart and TuneIn Radio. Before the break, we were speaking with Kathy, and she had powerful energy to share with us all, and we are grateful for her for calling in. And we now have Georgianne from Reading on the line. Are you there, Georgianne? Yes, I am. Can you hear me? Yep, and we're so grateful for you for calling in. Can you tell us why you're calling in tonight and how we can help you? Yes, um, I'm having a situation with my left ear on the edge. It just seems to always be uh, irritated. Okay. Well, the first thing I get is, do you like what you're hearing? (laughs) That's the first message I get. (laughs) Okay, that's debatable. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. All right, let's see what else there is. So I'm getting that the left ear, right, is part of the uh, throat, third eye chakra, okay, more connected okay. to the third eye, but it's it's in there. And that's that divine feminine side, and it's that side of us that's been shut down for a long time. It's the side of us that's afraid to hear the messages and information, and then to be able to speak it without being harmed. So consciously you would say to me, Oh, I can do that. But remember, we just said 95% of it's subconscious, and maybe in some people it's only 90%. But there's this vast energy of subconscious energy that goes back many, many lifetimes where the goddess in you was persecuted, prosecuted, killed, shut up, and actually even had her ear chopped off, okay? Wow. So now here you are in, yeah, here you are in this lifetime. And so what we would say to you when I say we, that's your higher self, is saying they're telling you and telling you and telling you something and you're not listening. Do you know what that is? I think so. (laughs) Yes. Okay. And so we will say to you that, yeah, Julie and Carol right now can some run some energy, but it doesn't serve you in the way that it would serve you more to listen to what it is that you know that you need to address and to address it. Okay. Okay, Okay, but we can run energy to make that easier. And so I can feel Julia right now. She's like, look at the heart, look at the heart. 
<laughs> yeah, there's look at the heart, but then let's look yeah, because let's heart. <laughs> and we also want to bring in education of how it will honor you to really look at what you're being told and really acknowledge what you're being told. So let's bring in education because it's like and release any fears or vows and contracts from any you know previous lifetimes or anything else and release all that that's keeping you from listening to that that's keeping that fear in place that's keep does that make sense George Ann Yes Okay so I'm being going to the back side of the heart the shadow side of the heart and I'm seeing it's a drain and it's it's clogged so it's like it's like everything's built up back there with, and there's a lot of pressure back there as far as that goes because it's um, stuff you just don't really want to look at because it makes you, it just it makes you feel a little uncomfortable. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. So I'm gonna call what I call roto rooter energy, and we're just gonna go and clear that drain out because it's clogged. Okay, you ready? <laughs> Yes. Okay, so let's just clear that back side of that heart chakra with that energy that's just clearing, clearing all the clogs out, allowing that flow to just flow beautifully of that the back of the chakra. Go ahead, Carly, why that's why I'm holding space for that. So I've, I got this information that said that the way you're perceiving this issue, Georgiana, is that you perceive it in black and white. And it's really not something that's black and white, it's gray, okay? And so we're yeah. going to ask your higher self to flood you with the education of that, the wisdom and understanding of that, to make it easier for you to navigate it, okay? Yeah. And not to be so mental about it, to just say to the world, to the goddess, to the god, whatever, that that you're going to work through this, that you're going to heal it, but in the most amazing easy way yeah. okay that it doesn't have yeah. to be this black and white choice yeah i'm getting the word linear so she, that she takes that out of the linear way then she goes more in that spiral that it's not yeah yeah and so even though you might not comprehend what that is and we might not even comprehend what that is let's just do that let's move it from the masculine way to the feminine way which is these powerful energies right now. And then that will help bring it into balance and make it easier for you to be able to navigate it. So what I'm seeing now is your head's crooked. So let's put your head (laughs) aligned. Well, yeah, because, you know, I mean, the ear is right there by the head and everything. (laughs) So let's bring all of these upper chakras into alignment. You keep telling me witch energy. So, you know, the witch is a word. The word witch really means goddess. It was destroyed and distraught and brought into these negative terms. Um, But what it really means is one who can hear herself and is able to bring that into this world. And so you have that gift, but you have it shut down. Are you aware of that? Um, I didn't think so. But I am now. (laughs) Yeah, so um, you have a powerful gift of hearing, which means, you know, that you could channel, that you can really listen to the higher self, that you could hear realms of whatever you choose, fairies, angels, whatever. Um, But you've got it shut down out of fear. So are you ready to open this up and start letting this really be a piece of you? Be back into who you are. Absolutely. Okay. Okay, so let's let's flatter Julia with divine security and safety from mm-hmm. the angelic realm. Letting you really know that all those times are over. They're over. And this is a new time and this is the time of the goddess. This is her time right now. And so here you are. And you can bring that gift forward of your your clair audience. You have a really strong gift of clair audience. So the one thing I'm getting, Georgiana, is you want to say, I choose to listen. Okay. So that, that, that would be 
the affirmation that you want to work with because it's like you have all this information coming through, but because you don't really want to hear what they have to say out of fear or whatever that you choose that subconscious that's, that says, I really don't want to hear all this. So you have to really make that conscious choice to listen. So I choose to listen. Can you say that out loud one time for me? (laughs) Oh yes. I am choosing to listen. And I listen, I hear, I'm a powerful healer, I can hear. And so, you're not hearing it because you've got it programmed not to. So those affirmations and the energy that we're running with you right now is like blasting through that chakra, okay? Yes, thank you. And open to your witch self because she's a mermaid, she's a goddess, she's everything. (laughs) <laughs> don't Thank be scared you. of it <laughs> all right <laughs> and then your ear your outer ear will just hear heal itself cool okay. thank you so much oh Thanks thank you Georgian. we are so grateful and I, <laughs> i'm so grateful <laughs> And I want to take this time to thank all our callers. I want to thank Amy from Maryland and Kathy and George Ann from Pennsylvania. And I want to especially thank our special guest, Dr. Bear Delmi, for the for just joining us and giving all that sound advice about being stress free. And anyway, I'm really grateful for all of you. And for more about what Carol Lee and I offer, please visit our websites, com and juliastubi.com. And again, thank all our listeners for tuning in to the BBM Global Network, iHeart and TuneIn Radio and listening to A Call to Heal this evening. And remember, you are the radiant ones. So stay heart-centered and connected to Earth and your infinite awareness. And we are so, so grateful for all of you tonight. Thank you for a beautiful show. You've been listening to A Call to Heal with your hosts, Carol Lee and Julia. Join us each week and be the best you can be on the next episode of Carol Lee and Julia's A Call to Heal. You've been listening to the BBM Global Network. The ideas, views, and opinions of this broadcast are those of the participants of the program and are not necessarily the ideas, views, and opinions of the BBM Global Network Company.